Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Upset Angling. And today, uh, I know there's tons of videos out there on this subject, but we are talking about line. Um, I figured I'd make my own kind of video on where to use certain types of lines. You have floor carvings, you have braids, you have monofilaments. Um, so where do you use all these types of lines? Let's talk about it. So in the game of fishing, there's pretty much three general um, types of fishing line that you use for bass fishing. And uh, that's pretty much braid, you got fluorocarbon, and you have monofilament. There is a purpose for all three of these types of lines, so that's what we're gonna talk about. So we have three types of lines. Um, I'm gonna pretty much talk about how I use each type of the line and uh, what purposes there is for um, each one. So starting out with braid, um, right here, I've just got two spools of braid. Um, and braid, there's a few different uh, purposes for it. And you can throw braid on bait casters, but um, if you guys watch a lot of you fishing, most people throw uh, braid on spinning reels. So like this right here, I have some 15 pound um, high visibility um, yellow braid right here. So pretty much the point in having braid on a spinning reel, now this is a whole nother video. There is a lot of uh, good reasons to use braid, but the pretty much basic, first of all, braid um, has a tiny diameter, all right? So if this is 15 pound braid, and this has the same diameter as four pound mono. So when you're casting a lure, it's gonna be like casting with four pound mono, but you're getting 15 pounds of strength. Um, so that casting a lot more um, and then also with braid you get a lot more sensitivity because there's no stretching braid um, So a lot more sensitivity now one thing braid isn't very good at is uh, abrasion resistance if you you know bump braid off of rocks um, It's kind of it's probably gonna fray a little bit and you're gonna have to retie with braid. There's four strand um, and then there's eight strand and there's some nine strands. So pretty much all that means, don't get too confused by it. Four strands is gonna be rougher braid, but it's gonna be a little bit tougher. It's gonna be a little bit more abrasion resistant, but as you get up into that eight strand braid, like this Suffix 832, that's gonna be your smoother braid. Um, and that's what you wanna use on spinning reels. It goes through the guides nicer. Uh, you wanna use your four strands on uh, your bait casters where you're flipping into grass, maybe frogging, because if you do hit a little bit of wood, it's not going to uh, break off. But uh, braid used for you know heavier stuff when you get into the 50 pound uh, range, and then also you can use it on your finesse combo. Now fluorocarbon, this is a big one. Uh, fluorocarbon's got a lot of different purposes. Uh, fluorocarbon, there's a few things you need to know. Fluorocarbon versus mono, like what's the big difference, right? So here's some eight pound mono, eight pound fluoro. Why am I gonna use fluoro and not mono? Why am I gonna use mono and not fluoro? So with mono, mono has a lot of stretch. So when you pull that line, it's gonna stretch a little bit. Fluoro has a lot less stretch. The fluoro is not gonna stretch nearly as much as the mono. It will still stretch, but uh, probably three times less than the mono does. So mono floats and fluorocarbon sinks. So keep that in mind, because if you're fishing top water, and you fish with fluorocarbon for top water, your bait is not gonna have near the, the action um, if you're fishing fluorocarbon with top water. Fluorocarbon is also pretty um, invisible underwater. Now, if you just use like a clear mono, uh, it'll be pretty hard to see, but fluorocarbon is pretty much invisible underwater. Actually, fluorocarbon is a lot more abrasion resistant than mono is. So when do I use mono and not fluoro? When do I use fluoro and not mono? Well, pretty much I use the, the few times I don't use mono too much. I use mono when I'm fishing top water, some top waters, top waters with treble hooks, and sometimes I will use mono when I'm fishing crankbaits. With crankbaits, uh, I mostly fish crankbaits on fluorocarbon, and fluorocarbon's pretty much all that I use. Um, I've got one combo with braid, one combo with fluoro or mono, and the rest have fluoro. Fluoro's got low stretch, so when I'm fishing, you know, a chatterbait or a Texas rig, and I flip it out there, if you make a long cast and you try to set the hook, that mono is gonna stretch so much that that hook might not get in the fish's mouth good enough. So when, on long casts, um, or even short casts, you get a better hookup with the fluorocarbon because when you're setting the hook or dragging into the fish, that line's not gonna stretch as much, so it's gonna penetrate the fish's mouth a lot more. So I use fluoro pretty much for all jigs, all Texas rigs, um, all crankbaits, jerkbaits, chatterbaits, swim jigs, everything like that, um, I'm using 
fluorocarbon, and mono I'm using for top water and some crankbaits. And then grade I'm using on my spinning combo, but I'm also using fluorocarbon as a leader because fluorocarbon's invisible underwater. So uh, w even though you have a very bright braid, um, the fish are never gonna see that braid when you have a fluorocarbon leader. So that's pretty much it. There is, uh, you can get a lot more complicated um, when you're talking about this, but uh, you can keep it pretty simple and you can keep a lot of stuff in fishing pretty simple. So that's it for today's video, just a short video um, explaining kind of how you use each line, when you use each line. Uh, I didn't really go into like uh, strength of line, so when should you use 15 versus 8, but that's pretty simple. Uh, you can watch other tips videos on that. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, video ideas, and what you guys thought of this video. And then also, uh, if, you, if you have other ideas, um, maybe you use mono here instead of floral here, drop that in the comments down below too. But that's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.